Hello, my name is Kim, and welcome to another episode of Murderous Mountains. Today we talk about another Kim, Kim Snipson. In Nowra, New South Wales, Australia, 2006, Kim Snipson had n- hor- held horses at Greg and Catherine's horse property, and she envied it. She tried to recruit people to kill them, and they told her husband, but he wouldn't believe them. Eventually, she recruited Andrew Flintjar and Stacy Lee Caton. Uh, she told them two different lies to get them to help her. She told Andrew that she, Greg and Catherine, like, sexually molested their kids or something, and then she told Stacy Lee Caton that they, um, drugged her and then use there for sex and you know something like that and so she got them to help her they lured greg to their house and andrew attacked greg and then kim called Catherine and said that she and greg were having an affair and Catherine came over and you know she was attacked and then Catherine was suffocated with tape and then Greg was strangled. They were dumped in a forest and set on fire. Well, Stacey Lee Caton felt really guilty over this because it w- he thought it wasn't going to go that far. And uh, so he like told his sister and her husband and turned himself in. And... Andrew got seven years, and Stacy got 16 years. Now, in Deadly Women, it was said that Kim got 32 years, but I read in other places she got 24 years. Either way, she's going to be put away for a long time. That's all for now. See you on another episode of Murderous Madams.